Yo, 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 another episode, talking about these dogs in the NBA, last night was a beautiful night in basketball, let me tell you, we had 13 games and they were awesome, there was some blowouts, there was some close games, and there was some terrible, terrible mishaps, let's get right on to it, let's go in and talk about what we gonna talk about how about that it was like the NBA has opened up the the, the free ref forum because the refs were letting things go they were letting them play they weren't calling these baloney things they were doing the first few days of the game you know they still let Giannis travel of course but everything else was looking mighty pretty. Let the shouts go out to Amen Thompson, the rookie. Looked like he had a nasty ankle spray. Nasty. My prayers go out to you, buddy. Get well soon. Hope you see you out in court very soon. There is no rookie curse. Don't let nobody tell you that. Just keep on pressing. Keep on keeping yourself healthy. Um, the Clippers. Well, first of all, let's, let's look at that uh, Detroit game. That Detroit game was... I'm not going to say it was fun to watch because the fun shortly gave way once... Uh, for me, but once when the shirt got hurt. And it kind of it kind of ruined the, the game. But let's check these box scores. Alright, on the Portland side, there was... A, of course, you know, the, the, the ballot stuffer fills the ballot up, but doesn't score. Bible, good to see him on the court. He didn't do much as far as um, the stats show, but he was definitely deflecting some shots, changing up some shots. He was making it hard for Detroit to really punch their way in. It started off good for Detroit. K was shooting from the three like, like he was... A man possessed. That man should be an all-star. At least he should be a three-point shooter in the game. I mean, come on now. I mean, what did Cade Cunningham have? Let's see. He had 30 points, five rebounds, four assists, one steal. I'm going points, rebounds, assists, steal, block. For those of you who didn't catch on, let's be sure he had. Or, yeah, sure. Or, no, he meant he had 16 7. 2 2. He was doing the darn thing. Um, he, they didn't get a lot of help. You know, these these, these guys should be pulling down rebounds like crazy. Stewart was doing his best, you know. He had four assists, three, six rebounds, 12 points. Playing 33, game, 33 minutes, you, should, you need to be out there getting at least 12 rebounds, homeboy. Like, for real. Y'all young team. Y'all hungry. you athletic. Get out there and do something. Don't just stop at the second quarter. Don't just stop at the third quarter. Play every single quarter. Like, it's the last quarter you're going to play. And things will start to change for Detroit. For sure. Because Cade is playing 37 minutes strong. And he's not playing no game. Taking no shorts. He shot. My goodness. He was shooting the heck out of the ball. 27 attempted shots. Ooh, 5 for 9 for 3. Yeah, he was just trying to cook out there. He's 100% free of 3 from the field. He was trying. He definitely was trying. Portland. Sharp. Shannon Sharp. He's second year player. He's he's trying to make a name for himself. Since, uh, you know, they're all young. They're all looking to keep their spots on the roster, they're probably looking to see how the business is going. It's anytime they can be traded, they can be moved, they can be pressed forward. I always feel like the first part of the season is always a difficult time because players don't know if they're going to be traded. They don't know if they're going to be waived. They don't know you know, what could potentially be going. If the rookie's going to the G League, they don't really have a set uh, foundation Unless they do have like a three, four, 
five year contract. But who's signing five year contracts right now? Besides, you know, superstars that are getting two hundred and eighty million dollars. <clears throat> Joker. <clears throat> I mean, but who else has got that kind of security besides these big men, these uh, major go getters like Luca? You know what I'm saying? So I get, I get the hesitancy, but me being a basketball fan, I see that you guys are playing as hard as you can. Keep playing that way. Keep playing that way. Don't just wait until the end of the season so you press them towards the playoffs. Play that now. Do that now. Do them all your all now. And so other teams can see how much of a value you are. You never know when something, a freak accident might happen where you might tweak your ankle or you might, you know, sprain your wrist or jab your finger or whatever. You never know. You got to keep it moving in a positive direction. No doubt about that. Let's move on to the Clippers game. Oof. Oh, the Clippers game. That game was off the chain. Went to overtime with the Lakers. LeBron James doing LeBron James things. I'm not even going to play the stats for y'all right now. I'm just going to talk to you about how the fourth quarter for LeBron James was just phenomenal. Him and Reeves are just being a really tight dynamic duo. He's throwing lobs to LeBron. He's bounce passing just two and three. Like, they playing really strong in the West right now. And the Lakers are going to be something to look forward to, for sure. The fans have been begging for them to be good. You know, not just good, but great. And they get in there. They've they got some real good cohesiveness going on. I think they got a lot of role players, which to me, Role players are the key to any championship team, for sure. Paul George fouled out in overtime, I believe. He was the one that even put them going into overtime by getting fouled at the end of the fourth quarter at the three-point line. So, who's them really put them back? Um, I didn't see too much coming from uh, the Clippers. Reeves' vision just... I just like it. I, I really like it. I heard that um, LeBron is dedicating this season to his son. So his drive is probably a lot stronger, a lot fiercer, a lot deter- more determined to show his son, you know, that there's, there's so much more to be seen. You know, there's so much more to push your body to do. You know, strength is in, in the mind, not just in the physicality, but it's in the mind. And uh, shout out to Bronny. Hope you, um, hope you living right, homeboy. Hope you feeling good. Hope they doing whatever they can to keep you healthy and strong. Not just to play basketball, but just to live, you know. Just to do all that. So, let's look at these box scores. Let's first look at the Clippers. Okay, Paul George, he had 35, 6, 1, and 2. Cooking. Kawhi had 38, 6, 5, and 2. Woo! Uh, who else? Westbrook, 24, 11, 8, and 4 steals. He wanted to show his team, his old team, that look, I think y'all did something by letting me go. What you did was not let me fly. You ain't let me get the reins of this team and fly with it. It wasn't that LeBron was holding him back. I think it was the organization. I really think the organization was saying, you know, well, this is LeBron's team, and Westbrook just has to deal with being the fifth fiddle. Like, you, you can oh, you can still lead a team and not be the number one person. And they didn't give Westbrook, to my opinion, enough of the, the workload to do so, to do his thing. And the Clippers seem to be doing so. Clippers are like, you know, do your thing. Do whatever it is that you think you can do to, to help win the game. Do it. And that's what he's doing up here for Clippers. 24, 11, 8, 4. That's fantastic. They also had some help from um, Norman Powell. He had 12, 2, and 3, 1 block. Um, that was about it. The Clippers got to have more role players doing their thing. Tucker came out, played 20 minutes, didn't score anything. Five rebounds. You know, that's his per usual. 
I mean, he's playing off the bench for 20 minutes. And I don't know, let me see how many shots he took. I bet you he only took like maybe one or two shots. Yeah. He took one shot. One shot. That was it. He had four personals. Um, speaking of which, you know, he just got traded from Philadelphia. There was no James Harden, but there was P.J. Tucker. Hmm. Imagine that. I wonder what they're going to say about that. You know, why didn't James play? He, If everybody got cleared of their physicals and P.J. was able to play, why didn't James play? Today is Thursday. So Philly plays the, the, the Raptors today. Let's see if Robert Covington and uh, Marcus Morris and uh, KJ play. I know Nick Batum has been playing. He has some personal issues, he said. But let's see if they play tonight. If they play tonight, we will destroy the Raptors for sure. Our bench might be a little short because of Mr. Pesovich. I heard he got he's going to get moved to Sacramento. Um, best of wishes to you and your family. People don't realize that the, the, the things that go on with all these trades and movements and all this that, you know, you're uprooting people. But it's a business. You sign up for this business, this is what it what it does. You're pieces of a puzzle that need to be put in the right position to see the whole picture. You know? So you know, all these fans that are like, Oh, that's garbage, he's garbage, he's trying to make a living. You know, it's, he's blessed to have some talent. Whoever it is, whether it be uh, uh, T.J. Tucker or T.J. McCullum, McCullum, McCullum. you know what, my bad, T.J. Timothy John, whether it be any one of those, they are still trying to make a living with the talent that they've been given. So ease up, guys, ease up. I think the Philly fans should give the players, once they're announced, the huge, huge, huge ovation. Once they come out to the the floor, huge ovation. Allow them to see that the city is is ready for these players to show up and show out. Because we we will Philly won that trade, but by far won that trade. That was a absolute steal by Daryl Morey. Getting all these acquisitions, these role players, and some picks, some first rounds, and some second rounds. Like that was money. Daryl Morey, Morey is undefeated. I don't care what you say about him. He is absolutely undefeated. And nobody could touch that right now. We'll get to Philly later, but um, let's hit that uh, Warriors game. Let's see what the Warriors did. That game was pretty. That game was real pretty. You got to see not just. Uh, the superstars of the Warriors or the the, the semi stars in Sacramento, but the up and coming stars, the the players that take over when you're guarding, you're double guarding Curry, you're you're pouncing on Draymond, you're uh, hanging over Mulooney. You got to see those players, and for Sacramento, it was the bonus. With, 23-11-8. No block. It was Harrison Barnes. 14-1-1-1. It was... Mitchell. What was his name? Uh, huh. He got 13-3-4-3. Three steals by him. That's a good job. I like defense. Defense is great. The Eastern... Oh, Malik Monk was a masterpiece. He was shooting threes like crazy. It seemed like he shot like 15 threes, but only three or five. He was killing it from three in clutch, 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 clutch opportunities. So they played one, two, three, four, five of their bench along with, you know, with their stars. But my goodness, where's old boy at? Herder even got 11, 9, 3, and 1. Where I'm looking for, uh, oh, he plays in jazz. What am I looking for him for? <laughs> anyway, let's go to Sacramento. Let's go to uh, Golden State. Hey, 
don't to mess with me. I'm a first time podcaster. And I will make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. It's all right. You know, I'll get it eventually. Wiggins, 14-2. He didn't do very much on the defensive end. But he did get to the free throw line a couple of times. Or maybe not. Um, what in the world? He didn't do too much of anything. Um, hmm. Imagine that. Draymond got 13, 2, and 9. He has two steals, two blocks. He hit um, 2 or 4 from 3. He only shot 7 times. So, uh, he got 4 of the 7 of those shots. So, you know, his rebounding was, was alright, but he was passing them out. He was show passing them out. Looney, 6, 9, 6, 1 steal. Uh, Clutch Clay came into the, into there. They, he, he's the one that won the game. Hitting the three to put them up by one, I believe. Yeah, was it one? Yeah, put them up by one to win the game. He hit that clutch three. I call him Clutch Clay. Clutch Clay. 14, 2, and 2. With, uh... How many threes did he hit? Okay, he was one for four. So that one three, that one three was all they needed. So keep shooting out there, kid. Keep shooting. Stephen Curry, he didn't pull a 40 50 piece. He just got 21 5 and 3. But that wasn't from his lack of trying. 7 for 15, 4 of 10 from 3. I mean, they barely won this game right here. Chris Paul, he was, I seen him controlling a lot of the flow of the game. He was doing like, um, like, uh, dribbling, dribbling all the way to free throw line, pulling it back, finding somebody on, in, on the wing. Dribbling to the one side of the free throw line, finding somebody for the three. Like, he was doing... A lot of those different things. A lot of hockey passes was going on in Golden State last night. 15, 6, and 2 for Dario Saric. Shout out to Dario Saric. Still my guy, 6 to 9 from the field. 3 to 5 from 3. Uh, Peyton, he was in 4, 2, and 1, and 1. Um, Kamunga. Kamunga got 12, 1, and 1, and 1. Four of nine shooting, one of two from three. They played one, two, three, four of their benches. Of course, Chris Paul came off the bench. Um, but it was a good, really good game. If you missed it, you missed it. The chef, he was cooking when it needs to happen. Sacramento has a ton of role players. They don't have a bona fide star. No pun intended to bonus, but they have a lot of great role players. Uh, the Murray twin is out there. He's doing his thing. He's trying to get in there where he fits in. But CP3 running to the court is going to be a problem. The glue guys of of Golden State, Draymond Green, Mooney, they're 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 doing what they need to do in order to get everybody on. They're not it's not just one person's night. It's all of us gotta pitch in. All of us gotta at least get ten points. All of us gotta at least get five rebounds. All of them collectively. And that's what makes them a good team. The models will take some off the glass shot. They reminded me of Tim Duncan. Uh clutch clay, I can stand for three. That was all I had to say about that. Next up, let's talk about, let's see, the da- oh, jeez, what did I just do? Let's talk about the Dallas Mavericks. First of all, Luka Doncic, <laughs> I think he's leading the league in, uh, in points right now. 
And my goodness, <laughs> he is, he's phenomenal. I'm not even going to lie. It's only, what, fourth, fifth game of the season? And he is, he's cooking. He's cooking with, with hot sauce and flaming hot crumbs. He is absolutely doing the same thing. There's no doubt about that. Let's get to talk about that game. Um, let's see where are they at. Let me get that box score. The Bulls, they were doing, they was playing a pretty good game. Zach Levine, oh my, Zach Levine was, he was showing out. He was showing everybody, like, y'all can put me in these trade talks. Well, I'm going to give y'all something to talk about. And he was shooting threes. He was shooting fours. He was doing his darn thing. Derek Jones yammed over Zach Levine like oh here you go let me let me give you a poster before you leave Chicago <laughs> that was super funny so Chicago let's see DeRozan had 16-3-7-1 he shot 5 of 13 from the mid range no he's mid range no 3 points um 21 and 20 from Vucevic, that's what he needs, that's what he needs, 35 minutes, 40 seconds for him, okay, 21 and 20, one, two steals, most of his shots came from the field, 10 of 17, one, three, four, nine, Zach Levine, 22, two and one and two, those two steals, they was pretty decent, Pretty decent for a guy that got to all this noise in his ear right now. Kobe White, 10-1-4. Um, their role players, uh, Carter, 12-1-2 and 1-1. One and one. He shot 5-7 and he made two three-pointers. Let's go, big man. He said, I'm out here too, y'all, because. So, they didn't have a couple of players, but they still played a decent game. It just was who was going to outlast, and it definitely was Dallas. Dallas Jones had 17-5-1. Um, Grant Williams, 25-5-1-1. Let's see. Luka Doncic, he didn't have to score 40. He played 44, 40 minutes, but... He scored 18, 7, 10, 2, and that's about, and a block. He got a block, okay? So they basically protected the three-point line from him shooting. That's where the bulk of his points have been coming from, to be honest with you. But he scored 1, 8 from three-point line. So they was definitely protecting that, uh, that uh, three-point line. He did have nine attempts at the free throw line. Um, Hardaway Jr., they, they sixth man of the year for sure. 24-3-2-1. He was, since you wouldn't let Lucas shoot, he was shooting the lights out at three. He got seven of them boys. Seven of 13. Woo! He said, you gonna guard Lucas? Then I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. That's probably where Lucas got his 10 fish from right there. We also had Harding he had nine, one and one. Um, Seth Curry had four, three, four and three. He had two or five from the field. He don't shoot very much. I'm not sure why. He didn't even. He only had. Whoa. Gee. He only shot one three point the entire game. Wow. That's crazy. What's up with Kyrie? What is up with Kyrie? I'm about to find out for y'all for sure. Cause Kyrie ain't been on lineup all season. Does he have COVID? Nah, that's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. He ain't got COVID. It's all good. He had some 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 downtime. I think he got the uh, maybe uh, uh yeah I don't know. He has the 
the ingrown toenail or something. I don't know. But I ain't seen him. I don't, I don't think I've seen him on the bench. Like, I almost forgot last night that he even played for Dallas. To be real. Sheesh. That's wild. All right. Wow. Anywho, moving on. Um, the Jazz. The Jazz three pointers in the first quarter. Oh my gosh. I thought this was going to be even more of a blowout than what it ended up being, but oh my gosh. The Utah Jazz were shooting the lights out. I'm just gonna go down to their three point percentage or their three points attempted and see what that came out to be. Good golly. Their three points attempted was forty three. 22 out of 43 three-pointers. They were straining it down. Straining it down. Everybody and their mama was shooting threes. From their bench all the way up they started. It was killing it. Uh, Mark again. 19-11. 1-1. Collins. 16-4-2 and 2. Uh, Kessler, which I'm a big fan of Kessler. He didn't do very much. He was 4-4 four four with two blocks. I like that. Two blocks is good. Jordan Clarkson, my guy. 26-5 and 2. Still. Was he shooting threes too? Of course he was. He was 4-6. He probably was the most accurate. Him and Mark and was probably tied. Yeah, they were. They were pretty tied in that category. Let's see his field goal percentage. He was 8 of 13. So he only missed like 5 shots. Mark and missed 5 as well. Okay, so they were, they were in tune with each other. Olenek, 14, 8, 5, and 1. He shot two threes, for sure. Yep, 3 of 4. He was the most accurate. He was 75% from 3. He shot a couple of free throws and was 50% on that. Sexton, 23, 3, and 6. He was coming off the bench. Whoa, they got a good little production from him. 8 of 10 from the field, 4 of 6 from 3. Yeah, he, they were sprinting. Good lord. Um, George, 9, 1, 3, and 1, and 1. Good block. Um, and that's about it. They played, oh, they played the rookie. Okay. He got five, one, and one. He only shot five shots from the field. All right, okay. They they blew out, basically blew out the Memphis Grizzlies, you know. I mean, if you really want me to say they stopped, I will. They're, I mean, Jared Jackson Jr., 1982 2 and 1. Uh, Desmond Bain, 21-3 and 1. Marcus Smart, 11 2 6 4. No block. Um, Roddy. Uh, Dick, Dick Roddy had uh, 3 9 1 and 1. The rookies didn't do too much. Okay, here we go. Lofton Jr. at 12 5, 2 and 2. He's trying to fill the stack. Um, Williams Jr. 12 3, 3 and 1. Um, he shot a couple of threes. Only made one. Okay, so I mean, they was alright. They wasn't nothing to be all excited about. I mean, they beat them down. They didn't. They still don't have John Morant. He's not going to be around for another, what, 20 games? They're getting beat up real bad. Real bad. I think when he comes back, him and Marcus Smart are going to kill it. Desmond Bain is going to be the recipient of them causing so much chaos, for real. So, you know, my team, I do like the Memphis Grizzlies. They can play with you. Um... They're just biding their time right now. But they just they just don't have the same lift in their jump no more. Without Ja. Get back. Come on, Ja. I know you can't move until you can move. 
But I hope you're still working out. Stay healthy. And staying out of trouble, bro. Um, let's see. Oklahoma City. Let's check out that match up. That game was going great for OKC. In the beginning. In the beginning, they were killing it. I thought, oh, man. The New Orleans is getting smashed. Like, what is going on? How is this happening? Like, who told them to stop playing? And all of a sudden, Zion started blowing by players. Like, crossover, doo doo, bing. He wasn't even yamming on them. He was just finessing them. Doo doo doo, bing. And then Chet Holcomb, he was just flying through the air like he was a gazelle. Flink. Just killing it. Shay, he can't get a break. He can't get a break. I mean, he's been moved from. One team that had potential to this team that had a lot of rebuild to do. And now look at him. What, what, what can he do with this team that's young? All of them want to be stars. All of them want to take the lead. All of them want to play hero ball. They, you know, they, they're they not passing. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's just, who got, whoever got the ball, I'm going to make a play. I got the ball, I'm going to make a play. Or I got the ball, I'm going to take it. Or I got the ball, I'm going to shoot it. Like... It, it, it's sad. It's sad. Let's go to Oklahoma first. Let's see Shea. Shea had 25-8-3. He shot 8 of 20. He didn't make any of his three points. They, they were guarding him strong at that three-point line. He was 0 of 5. Though. It was a little bit of a lack of trying. But he was getting into that money. He was getting in that paint for sure. Uh, man. Uh, Williams, 18-8-3. Okay, okay. Chet had 19-11-3-1-2. He hung. Chet hung. He shot 8-14. He, he of 14 one five 5 3 He's hungry, though. He want to get that dub, for real. He want to show people what he's doing. But if your team isn't winning, they're not going to put you on national television. They're not going to give you holiday game, they're not going to do all that, so he has an uphill battle, for sure. He, he's he got the skill, and he's going to win over that hometown, and his hometown, if they vote him with the All-Star game, he might start getting a little bit more look at, you know? They might start looking at him a little better. John, uh, Josh Giddy, 15-9-4-1-1. One, one. I know there's a lot of Giddy fans out here. <laughs> 10 Four and two for Wiggins. Um, nine one and one for Isaiah Joe. He shot two of seven for three. Ooh, he off two. Good lord. They played all their bitch. He even played one guy for 57 seconds. And there was nothing they could do to stop. He didn't even get a chance to get a shot off. He didn't even get a foul, bro. He couldn't even get a foul. Waters the third. He couldn't do nothing. They was just... Ooh. <sighs> they, they stopped quitting. They stopped playing after the second quarter. But... New Orleans. New Orleans. Zion had 20, 10, 8. Let's see how many threes did he shoot. Did he shoot any threes? No, he didn't. All his points came from... The free throw line and the few. Free throw, six of nine. They was hacking the boy. Um, CJ McCollum, 19, 11, and five. He had one block. So, what do you think New Orleans should do? Should they continue to go with what they have and build up and do what they need to do with that team? Or should they just stop? the train, let some players off, let some players get traded, picked up, moved on, whatever, and then try to build around Zion, or should they move Zion up to the market? Like, let me know what you think, let me know what you think, because New Orleans has some great players on their team, about Jon- Jonas, got Jon- Jonas, Jonas Valachunas, 19-9, 2-1-1. I mean, 
six of ten from the field. He hit a three. He did shoot a three for his big self. He made it. He had six and seven from the free throw line. They just they 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 they're good. They're okay. They're all right. But can they beat the Lakers? Can they beat the Clippers? Can they beat the Suns? Can they beat the Warriors? Can they beat Sacramento? Clearly, clearly they could beat Oklahoma City. Clearly. But they had to work for it. They had to work for it. And is that good enough? Is that good enough for the Pelicans? You, New Orleans, let me know. Let me know what you what you fans think about that. Okay? We're going to move on. We're going to move on to number five out there in the in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. Let's see. They played the, the reigning champion. They played the reigning champion. Now, everybody knows Jokic is a triple-double walk. Okay? I tell everybody this. You, you can't really stop him from passing because he's going to look for the pass. You're not going to stop his three-pointer because if you step too far away from him, he's just going to shoot over you. He's a big, tall guy. And then he might even try to run through you. He doesn't have that shack appeal to where he can run and pulverize you, but he can run through you with that weight, knock you off just a little bit enough for him to pass. So if you guard everybody else and hold him accountable, they won't be able to win. And that's what Minnesota did last night. Minnesota did just that last night. They stayed on their defense really hard. They made sure that every single point that they had, they had to stay. They earned it. Let me see how much the they were on the point the, the free throw line. Let's see. Yeah, they didn't. They only attempted as a team. They only attempted what ten free throws. That's fantastic. Ten free throws, and they made seven out of those ten. That is fantastic for a team to be able to hold. The reigning champion to 10 free throws. Wow. I didn't even notice that. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. had 5-5, five, 1-1-1. Five, one, one, one. Aaron Gordon had 4-2-2. Two, two. See that? They're holding those players accountable. They're, they're letting Jokic do whatever he's going to do because he had 25-10 and only three assists. Three. Three assists. That's some good defense. Um, Caldwell Pope had six points and a steal and a block. Jamal Murray had 14, 6, and 1. They too, they're too reliant on Jokic's passing. They're too reliant on him making things move. So if you hold them and keep them tight and locked down, who are you going to throw it to? He's going to have to run it in. Go ahead, Jokic. Go ahead. Get, get 25, 30 points. Go ahead. Everybody else, don't score. Don't let them score. Just don't let them score. And that's exactly what they did. Their bench had 2 points, 8 points, 9 points, 4 points, 5 points, 3 points, 2, 2, 2. I mean, nobody got over 10 points besides Murray and Jokic. That is phenomenal. Go ahead there, Minnesota. Y'all showed them what to do with this. these reigning champions. Good job. That's phenomenal. So let's check their field. I mean, free throw. Or sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Let me get these stats right. Their free throw attempted. They t- att- <laughs> <laughs> they attempted twenty seven and made twenty six free throws. That is fantastic basketball. I'm kind of mad I missed that game. I'm kind of mad I missed that whole game. I caught a bit of it, flipping back and forth. You know, all these games start all at the same time, so you got to flip from here to there to there to there to there to there to there, there, you know. It it can be, you can lose a lot of things going on when you're doing that. So I try to watch one quarter this game, one quarter that game. But that is phenomenal. 
my hat goes off to Minnesota. That is wow. I can't believe that that's what that says. They shot so good. They did amazing. They did amazing. Let's see who's doing amazing for it. Carl Anthony Town, 21842. Uh, Anthony Edwards. He made this dunk. I said, oh my. That boy is ridiculous. 24, 2, and 1, and 2 steals. Uh, Conley has 17, 3, and 6, and 1. Um, their bench had 9, 5, 16 by Reed. 2, and 4, 2. I mean, they did the darn thing. That was, I know they enjoyed that one for sure. That was that was a beauty right there. Absolute beauty. You know, Ben Wallace and... Um, Billups, when their teams collide, you, you just don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know what's going to happen with um, that too. I know that was all random, but I was just thinking about matchups. And, um, it made me think about that Lakers Detroit matchup. Anywho, <laughs> um, let's go on to the next game. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the Houston game. Houston versus the Hornets. Now, these are two teams that have, let's see what they're, they're, they're one, and, they're both one and three. Now, they're now one and three. Houston won their first game. So, let's start with Charlotte. Wow, that Minnesota game, I might have to try to hatch that replay, because I bet you that game was off the chain, 10. 10 free throws compared to 20, what I say, 28, 27, 28 free throws. Like, that's great defense without fouling. Come on. And Jokic, he can't flop no more. So, you know, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to be hit. What, what's he going to do without getting those flop calls? Because 50% of his free throws were flop calls. So, he <laughs> No back to back. I'm calling it now. No back to back. Um, let's see. Gordon Hayward from Charlotte Hornets at 1775. One and one. PJ Washington, 23 3. 23 and 3. Um, Williams, 9, 4, 1, 2, and 2 blocks. Good job. I like defense. Y'all know that. I like defense. Rozier, Scary Terry at 21 3. 6 and 1. Um, Lamello, good to see you out in the game. 19, 1, 5, and 1. Okay, Lamello. 5 assists. Now, come on. 1 rebound, 5 assists, uh, and 19 points. I'm going to need you to take the reins a little more. Either get 30 and 5 and 5, or get 30 and 2 and 2, or get 15, 15 and 10, I mean, you're the, you just got this huge contract, because they believe in you, they know that you can do what you can do, so do it, do it, don't worry about getting everybody acclimated, because they're going to go off of your gameplay, the general, do your thing, LaMelo, get it in, so their, um, their bench, they played five, their bench, because every single body else was hurt, one, two, three, four, five, Five players did not play. Their bench had 10 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. 5 points, 5 rebounds, 3 steals. 10 points, 8 rebounds. Who is that? Richards. I think he's a rookie. But the next one, what is his name? Mal- Maladon. 5 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. One steal, okay. Okay, that's not bad for 20 minutes being a rookie. And I'm only calling you rookies because I don't never remember seeing your name before. But you caught my eye now. You caught my eye now. Let's go to Houston. Um, Brooks had 20 points, three rebounds, five assists, five steals. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Good job, good job. He had three for three from the from the three-point line, three or four from the free throw, 
and he hit 7-9 from the field. Fantastic work, Davis. Fantastic work. Um, Smith Jr., 17-6 for one block. Tegan, 19-7-4-1. and 23-4-3-2. And then Fleet, 22 points, 3 rebounds, 11 assists. He hit 8 from 17 from the floor, 50% from 3 point line, and he had 1 free throw. Their bench was 4, 4, 4, 9, and 6. Huh. They also had about 5 players that did not play. Samuel Whitmore. What's up with Cam? Cam, I've been waiting to see you shine. I see it's the coach's decision that you sit in. Man, did they not see you in a summer league? Like they they really they really sleeping on Cam Whitmore. Shout out to Cam Whitmore. Hey, geez, um I don't even know what to say, what to say. I just wait for your opportunity, homeboy. Stay ready. Stay ready that way you ain't gotta get ready. Stay ready for sure. Yes, people, yes, yes. That's 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 who I'm looking for in these um, in this new season. Cam Whitmore is one of these guys I'm looking out for, trying to look for my eyes to see when when he getting to play, what how much he doing when he is playing. And if the coach's decision is not to let him play, that and they, you know, win the game. I mean, I don't understand that, but what you gonna do? What is you going to do? Not too much you can do. So on this game, um, Assure, he's looking like a playmaker for sure. Uh, or, wait a minute. No, Assure is on the Detroit Pistons. My bad, twins. <laughs> Amen. This is where you uh, hurt yourself. I hope you get better for sure. Um, let's see. My last remarks is, um, let's check the Detroit, what well, else Detroit, why I keep saying Detroit, Detroit's on my head right now, uh, let's check this next game, um, there's no RJ in the game, so them losing, is he the difference, is he the guy with the master plan, is he, he the one that keeps this team together, I mean, there was some sweet passes to Josh Hart, through two defenders in the fourth quarter. I mean, ooh, that pass by Quigley, boy. But Devin, he showed out. He showed out. He wanted to say, "Hey, we just played y'all. Y'all took it, took, took us out, but it's not gonna happen twice." And you know, you did it at my house. I might do it at yours. It, it's a wrap for you. Um, let me see. Uh. Murray showed out in his game. Dennis the Menace, he came out and showed out in his game. With his his vision is just beautiful. Giannis, he's a traveler still. He making strides, but they just not seeing these little bitty steps that he doing. He's taking too many steps. Call that stuff. And are the Raptors really tanking if they beat the Milwaukee Bucks by so much? Like, are they really tanking? I don't know. I also think that they might be showcasing. They might be saying, hey, I'm here. Look at me. Come trade for me. I could be good for your team. Always feel like that. Um, that was a huge loss for Milwaukee. Huge loss. They're like on a two-game losing streak right now, aren't they? Woo! My goodness. And it also feels like the refs are easing up. Like, I'm starting to see, like, certain plays get, they're not even blowing the whistle. They're not stopping the, the ball. They're not. They're keeping the ball at a steady pace, which I am starting to really appreciate. Um, Miami, man. Let's go look at those stats. I, I wasn't even going to go there. But I, I, I got to because there's just one player that just irks my brain. Let me see what he did before I even say his name. Six points, three assists, three rebounds, two steals, one block, two of five from the field. He only shot 
five shots. And how many minutes you play? Dang near 30? Come on, man. Two or five from three. I mean, yeah, he kept, he showed some defense in this game, but I really don't think it was him. I think that he picked up a deflected ball. And that's how he got those two assists. And that block, it was probably with a juicy move. But we ain't gonna talk about that. No, 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 no. We ain't gonna talk about that. No, no. No, no. Bam. At 21, 14, 3, and 2, and 2. He always showing up and showing out. Jimmy Butler, 27, 3, and 1. What is going on with them? Why aren't they, why aren't they winning? Hero had 33, and 5. He shot 30, 23 shots from the field. 6 of 10 from the three-point line. He had... What? No free throw attempts? Oh, he had one free throw attempt, and he missed it. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the Miami Heat, to be honest with you. Their bench was 4-3-3, and 9-4-2, 5-3-2, 3-4, 8-5. Oh, Man, Tate, even Robinson ain't even two or five from the floor, one or five from, from three point. Something's going on in Miami. They just, they just not, they not winning. For them going to the finals a few months ago to this is like, did they make any moves besides lose some players in the offseason? I don't know. It don't seem like it. Let's see, Macau had 21, 7, 5, and 1. Um, let's see, O'Neal, 6, 7, and 5, 2, and 1. Uh, Finley Smith, 15, 3, and 2. Thomas, 13, 2, 1, and 3. Um, Pretzel had 4, 11, and 5. With one block, he shot five off the field, no three-point attempts, and guess what? Guess what, y'all? He missed two free throws. You know who I'm talking about. Okay, Lonnie Walker had 17, 3, 4, and 3. Great job. Sorry you're stuck on that team. 11, 4, 4, 1. Um, Brooks had 17, 2, uh, Sharp had 5, and 7, and 1, and 1, and that's how he was mentioning. Um, the starters, basically, the starters pulled them through. They had some great production from Brooks and Wakeford and Lonnie, but man, Miami's just, they're getting a cool stage. They're doing the goosey. So, it was starting to be a back and forth game at first. You know, they would take lead, then they take lead, then they take lead. And then they just stopped. And they just, like, you know, in basketball, you get a good run in of five to seven points. You're going to, you know, sour that team. And that morale goes down a little bit. So you got to keep up that morale and say, hey, you know what? We're down. Let's get back up. And they didn't seem like they won. They they was... I don't want to say they weren't trying. Cause they definitely were trying. I think the Brooklyn just... They amped up a little more. They, they wanted it a little more than they did. So, it was a 16-point turnaround for the Nets. 16 points. They came... They had the momentum the rest of the game. And last but not least... This game I wanted to talk about last. Because it... It, I honestly don't have any words for it. Losing by 51 points. 51 points. Losing by 51 points. I, I, don't, I don't even know if I've ever seen a game that somebody lost by 51 points. I hope it doesn't ever happen to my team. Ever. Ever. So, oh my gosh. Let's start with Indiana. Indiana had, uh, Two people, okay, three people got in double digits. Topton got in double digits. 
Um, that gotta be a rookie. New bro got 14. And TJ McCullough. Timothy John. We talking about him earlier. Timothy John had 18, 7, 5, and 1. He was doing his stuff this. Didn't make a three, but he was doing his thing. Um, where do you get his points? Did he get him from the three point challenge? Let's see. No, he only got two from there. So he was doing it. He was getting it. And he didn't get rebounds and assists, so he was trying. They played every player on their team except for Daniel. Every single player on that month in the young team play. That's five, eight. That's 14 players. 14 players played on that on that game. And they still... I'm pretty sure more of them played because they were getting blown out. But dang, 51 points. Boston. Sheesh. I bet you Jason Tatum only played, yep, exactly what I thought. They only played 25, 26 minutes. They didn't need to pay for the rest of the 40, the other 26 minutes. Like, they were done. It was a wrap. Jason Tatum scored 30, 12, and 4. Uh, your boy scored, Brown scored 16, 7, and 1. Um, White, 18, 3, and 4. Holiday, 15, 7, and 4. Porzingis 13, 6, and 2. All their starters played under 27 minutes. So, Hozier got 17, 3, and a steal. Yeah, steal. Horford got 5, and 4. He played 11 minutes. Pitchard 14, 4, and 9. Um, Brissett played 14, 1, Two steals. Good job with those two steals. Um, Batum or Batten, Baton, 11, 3, and 1, and 1. They just got Molly Watch. Oh my goodness. That's just terrible. 51 points? I'm going to end it because I'm going to end this podcast right there. It, was, it looked too easy. It looked too easy for Jason Tatum. He was flying in there like, like they were just parting the seeds, letting him just run in there. He was looking at the crowd like, yeah, what? What they gonna do? They can't guard me. I mean, good net, good ice. Well, that's the uh, matchup for yesterday's game. Today, tonight, Thursday, the Sixers play the Raptors. They are headed towards a three and oh, or three and one record if they beat the Raptors. Um, the Pelicans play the Pistons. I say the Pelicans are going to win that. The Magic play the Jazz. I'm going to go ahead and say the Magic are going to take that. And the Suns play the Spurs. Rematch. Watch that game. Wimbignano got the best of um, the Suns that night with some great defense, some great plays. So that's going to be a good game tonight after the Sixers game on NBA TV. So make sure y'all catch that. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Catch me when you catch me. I'm out.